What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about the first seven things a woman notices when she sees a guy. Yes, so maybe you know she's sitting at the bar, you walk in and you talk to her for like five seconds. She's gonna analyze you from head to toe. Mm, okay, is this like this? Is like that? Okay, he looks like this. He has this. Mm, uh, no, I'm not interested. So yes, the, we are that quick to, to kind of judge and decide if we like you or not. So you might want to pay attention and make sure that you have all of these in check and ready to go. So when she sees you, she's like, oh, excuse me, please take me home. You want her to feel like this as soon as she sees you. Yes. All right. So let's jump right in. So number one, yes, um, you guys already know this one, but your stature. Yes. So as soon as you walk in, we see how tall you are how big you are, are you muscular, are you a little chunky, are you tall, short, all that. that that's, that's what we're going to see and you already know because the girls on the pineapple show tell you all the time, um, six feet is uh, most girls' preference, I, I know, it sucks, but you know, I have some tips for you. If, you. if you're shorter, you know, there's stuff to make you look taller, like wearing all black, that's going to make you look slimmer and taller. Or you can wear some Tims or shoes who have like a little, um, you know, that makes you look a little taller. You can help yourself a little bit. Or your hair. You know, if you can wear your hair a little higher, that helps too. But yes, I'm sorry, it's not fair, but we are going to look at you and uh, kind of pass judgment. A lot of women are going to pass judgment. If you're too short, they're going to be like, ah. no, but that's the first thing that we look at. But don't be discouraged because that's the first thing we might see. But if you get a chance to talk to her, she might change her mind. Number two, your appearance slash your attractiveness. Yes, I mean, it's the same for you. It's the same for us. We see you, we look at you and we're like, ooh, it's fine. Oh, no, I don't really like, mm, no, I'm good on that. You know, it's the same. We don't know you, so all we look at is physical. So do you have a nice face? People are constantly judging others on appearance. Just think about it as an interview. When you go to an interview, you're not going there with like some shorts and sandals and a regular t-shirt. No, you dress up. I mean, I hope. I mean, I don't know what field you're in, but if it's like professional, business professional, probably you're going to wear a suit, a button-up shirt, maybe a tie. You know, you, you dress up. So it's the same. If you're trying to impress, which I say all the time, don't try to impress bitches, but if you're trying to make a good impression, you need to look the part when you go outside and you're trying to go catch bitches. You need to look nice. You have to dress the way that you want people to address you. And I'm telling you, it might be unfair because you're like, well, that, because I'm dressed like this, so they think they can talk to me like this. Well, that is society and women are going to do that to you. So put some effort in your looks, in your cologne, in your grooming, in all of that, because all of this matters to women and men, actually. Number three. We look at your skin. Yes, and this is why I'm excited to talk to you about Tige Henley. Yes, I know you guys have heard me talk about them and you're gonna hear me again and again and again until you guys get it. Because I still see some guys with uh, some, some skin and I'm like, do you have a skincare routine? And they're like, mm, not really. Okay, well, you, you need to help yourself because having a good skincare routine is gonna help you tremendously when it comes to talking to girls, but also in your professional life, your social life, all of that. Tij and Lee makes taking care of your skin and complicated. They send you everything you need and nothing you don't. I recommend you start with level one system. It's a face wash that you use in the morning and at night. Then you use the moisturizers because you know your skin cannot be dry. So there is the AM moisturizer and the PM moisturizer before you go to sleep. And then twice a week, you do a little scrub, you know, to make sure all this bad stuff that's in your skin is gone. But you don't have to take my word for it. There is 5,000 plus reviews online. So if you don't trust me, go look at the reviews. And because Tish and Lee is sponsoring the video today, they are giving you, my lovers, a great deal. So click the first link in the description of this video and get 30% off and a gift on your first order. Yes. So maybe you want to go do that. Go. i wait. Click it. Number four that them women are noticing is how manly you are. Yes, uh, I am sorry, but most women want a manly man. They want somebody that's like masculine, that when you walk in the room, everybody looks at you and they're like, oh damn, 
you know that's what women are looking for we like a man who knows what he wants men who can command attention we like a man who has no time for small talk because he's trying to take over the world you know women like a little aggression we don't like doormats i'm sorry so if you come up and you're like, hey, you know a little feminine i'm sorry if you are feminine that that's and that's who you are i'm not knocking it i'm just saying that most women enjoy men who are more on the masculine side because we are feminine so we want somebody that is masculine number five so that's when you get to talking a little bit you know we're gonna realize your personality and your humor you know so you gotta be able to engage with the women i've done a bunch of videos telling you how to have a conversation how to be cool you know not overbearing or anything so again we're gonna see if you're shy if you're super outgoing if you're funny if uh your personality kind of like matches our personality we're gonna like really quickly we're gonna be able to see if you are someone that we want to interact with longer or if we might still like you but maybe we might put you in the friend zone or if it's somebody that we're looking at and we're like oh i could be with him you have to be able to engage with women because a lot of women are not gonna be the one making conversation. They're gonna wait for you, you approaching, so that she's like, what's up, what you gotta say? So try to pay attention to the world, try to pay attention to the environment, so you have stuff to talk about. Number six, which is kind of like piggybacking on uh, number five, we're gonna see how well-versed you are, your tone, your language, how you communicate. So yes, like I was saying, you need to be able to hold a conversation. Women enjoy that. They, they don't wanna have to think of a conversation. Not saying it's right. I'm just saying you, since you're approaching, she's gonna wait on you to make conversation and she's gonna respond. She might give you one word answer and all of that. You gotta make her talk. I know it's not fair, but that's how it is. How a man speak tells a lot about who he is and what kind of man he is. This happens to me all the time. A guy might approach me and I'm like, damn, he's fine. So he starts talking to me and uh, how he talks turns me off. So maybe he curses too much. I know you guys are going to be like, what? He curses? You curse all the time. But no, when you approach me, I'm not fucking cursing. I'm cursing because, you know, I know you guys. We're, we're here between us. But outside i'm not cursing i actually turn that shit off and i'm a lady you know so if he comes up to me and just like maybe curses or uh use a lot of slang or it, it's just i don't know for me it's kind of like a turn off i'm not saying later on you cannot do that but to start with it's kind of weird to approach somebody you don't know their background you don't know anything but you're kind of like i don't know we're in the hood kind of it's weird to me you, you don't know how to talk it's like bad grammar i know i'm not the best with english but like if you talk and it's i don't know i can't explain it but it's a turn off so make sure that when you talk you you use proper english also when i, I was saying the tone and the voice that's really important too you know if you have a high-pitched voice it, it it's not as attractive you see me all the time on the pineapple show when somebody comes on and like has this deep voice i'm like oh excuse me you know we're not used to that but we enjoy a really deep voice in a man because again that goes with being manly it makes us feel like you're manly because you're you know and number seven now that you're close you know we see all your imperfections i know it might not be fair but that's what we're gonna look at we're gonna look at uh do you have crooked teeth do you have a booger? Do you have dandruff? Are your eyes clean? Uh, your nails, your hands, like we're going to look at everything. Do you have bumps? Uh, are you well groomed? Your hair, we're going to look at everything. So make sure, you know, when you approach, I'm not saying you got to be perfect, but I'm telling you, whatever you have, we're going to notice it. One thing I really notice is plaque on the teeth. Like that's the first thing. Cause I, I look at mouth when you talk. And uh, if there is plaque on your teeth, guys, it's time to go to the fucking dentist. I am telling you, like, it should never be plaque on your teeth. Women are very critical and we're, we're going to look at that. But don't, don't be scared because some of your imperfections can be something that we actually find attractive. Like some crooked teeth might be, oh, I like that. That's, that's different, you know. But um, you, you might want to be on the safe side and make sure, like, you're taking care of everything that you might be self-conscious about too. All right, so that's all I have. So those were seven things that women look at. The first thing we see when you approach, when you enter a room, all of that. 
All right, so hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Manico. You can also subscribe to all the channels, Meli Me Motors, Meli Travels, The Pineapple Show, all of that. Please and thank you. And also on Instagram, Meli Love XO, Meli Motors, Meli Monaco, all that. Please and thank you. All right, guys, I love you. And I will talk to you soon, soon.